Recently, I have uploaded a video on recording setup that uses a mixer V8 sound card with a condenser microphone in a MacBook using Audacity. And this time it's pretty much the same thing, but the only difference is we will be using two tracks this time. One track is for the background music and then the other track is for the vocals. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cables cords that I used in this setup. And now let's start from this uh, corner over here. So this one is the micro USB and then the other end of this is uh, from this phone. So the 3.5 mm, this normally comes when you purchase a V8 sound card. This is actually uh, just additional uh, steps. Uh, you don't need to do this one. I'm just doing this one, so recording whatever I am doing uh, to this phone so that I can share whenever I'm doing the testing, so I can share to you also what I am hearing while listening to this uh, headphone or earphone. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back. So it's, it's right there, live one. That's where I'm going to connect it. And then the other end, I will connect to this phone. I'm using a lightning audio adapter because this phone doesn't have a headphone jack. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. And then the next cord is the one which is connected to the charging. Okay, so the one that says uh, charging. And then again, it's a micro USB and the other end of this one is the USB type A. So again, this cord normally comes when you purchase this uh, V8 sound card. So the other end, I will connect to the USB port of this MacBook, which is just over there. And then again, the other end is here to the charging port of this V8 sound card. And next, I will be using a, an earphone. So I'm, I'm connecting it over here, the one that says earphone. And again, that is connected to this one. And then the last cord I'm using, this is connected to the mixer. So the other end of this one, is this one. So RCA to uh, 3.5 mm, the one that has two lines or TRS. And again, this is connected to the condenser mic on this V8 sound card. And then the other end is connected to here, the one that uh, says uh, rec out. Okay, simply white to white and red to red. Okay, there it is. And of course, uh, uh, the XLR cable is, uh, is uh, the one I used to, to connect uh, this uh, condenser microphone. So something like that. And then it's connected to this uh, mixer over here. Okay, so again, uh, this is the XLR cable and then the other end is uh, this one here. Okay, so that one there. And then of course, the other end goes here and then the other end goes here. And let me show you quickly my settings from this mixer and this V8 sound card. So the gain is just at one o'clock and then the comp or compressor is just at 12 o'clock. High, mid, low is at 12 o'clock. Uh, effect is at uh, one o'clock and pan is at 12. And then the microphone volume is maybe I'll set it as maybe 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Okay, there it is. And for the V8 sound card, uh, I have uh, set the microphone at one o'clock and echo maybe at 10 or 10 or 11 o'clock and treble maybe at 10 o'clock and bass is at 12 o'clock. Record is always on high, make sure. And music, uh, maybe we can turn this up. It doesn't matter. We can just uh, uh, change this one later if we have to use this one and monitor is the volume you will hear from this uh, headphone or earphone okay and now uh, i believe we're all set and i'm gonna turn this on now and as well as this this uh, mixer from here we can now open the audacity okay so let's open it okay and let's hit okay and from here, we're going to set the microphone as this one here. So the name of this uh, V8 sound card is MV Silicon B1 USB Audio. So let's make sure to select that. Okay. 
If you noticed over here, the speaker is set to built-in output. We'll get to that uh, later. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this phone here is just extra. This is just for me to record what I'm doing whenever I'm listening, the uh, testing using the speaker so I can share to you as well. So what I'll do, I'll just sync the video that uh, with audio that I recorded from here and share to you what I'm hearing. Now, I am going to show you uh, in recording a song, this time using two tracks. So which means one track for the background music and then the other track is for the vocals. This one is, uh, is uh, I believe, more better because you have the control of uh, the vocals uh, if you want to make it louder and while the background music uh, volume stays the same. Okay, so to do that, you have to, you have to convert a song or a karaoke song into an mp3 uh, file first. To do that, open Google or any browser and let's say Google and then search YT mp3. So the first one should be the one YouTube to mp3 converter. So when you open it, it should it should look like that. And now uh, go to YouTube or open a YouTube. Let's say, for example, we'll be using the same. So click on share. And then this is the link you need. So or just simply tap the one that says copy and then you're copying it. And then go back here and then paste it over there. And then hit convert. Just make sure the, uh, this one is selected in P3. And then once it's converted, it should go to your download folder. So I'm just going to, okay, so something like that. It should go to your uh, download folder. I'm just going to minimize this one. Okay, let's open again download fo folder. Okay, so it should go over here. But uh, what I did is I transferred it already over here. So now it's on my desktop. Okay, so that's that's how you convert YouTube song if you are planning of using a YouTube song karaoke to record a song using Audacity. So to add this one here is very simple. Just uh, hold and drag and drop it over here. And there you go. So this is your first track. This is just a minus one or background music if we are going to play it. Okay, so it sounds like that. Okay, so now what we will need is our vocals. So to do that, we have to uh, go to tracks again up here and then add new and then select stereo track. This is the one we are going to be recording our vocals. Now, before you record the second track, you have to do uh, some settings first. So go back here, go back to the sound setting of uh, this MacBook. So you have to make sure that the output here is not set to this one. So again, so in here, as you can see, it's uh, it's set to internal speaker, which is okay. So just, just remember not to set this one to here, to MV silicon, because what will happen is that your audio uh, will uh, be recorded as well so it's like uh, it's like uh, the the first one that we did it record both the, the audio and the vocals or the background music it records the background music and the vocals so again on here make sure it's not selected so internal you can select other ones but not the but not the mv uh, silicon one Okay, so we're good at that, and let's X out from there. And from here, so same thing, your microphone, make sure it's set to this one, which is MV Silicon B1 USB. And then the speaker right here, you can just use the, uh, the built-in speaker, but what I will do is I am going to use another headphone. So in this way, in this way, you can hear the audio, because by just, uh, like, in this setup right now, uh, you will not uh, hear this uh, background music so you can sing but you cannot hear the background music so what i will do is i will use another headphone or headset and i will connect this one to the headphone port of this macbook so i can hear the background music and at the same time from here i can hear the microphone from this other uh, headset or headphone so again i'm just going to look up the the headphone port of this MacBook, which is on this one here. Okay, I'm just going to connect it. And, um, okay, and by the way, because we will be, uh, 
we will be recording on here and we will not be using the the uh, this uh, YouTube karaoke anymore not unless you memorize the the lyrics then that's good for you but if for some reason you don't memorize uh, the uh, the lyrics then uh, just search the lyrics for that song in this uh, MacBook okay so let's say okay so let's say you needed me lyrics okay and there it is okay so this is the catch of the, doing this uh, if you are going to record it in two tracks one for background music one for vocals so you will need a lyrics if you don't memorize the lyrics so which is for me it's fine okay so now let's give it a sample so i'm gonna what i will do is i will use only one side of this of this uh, headphone and then one side for one side of the headphone of the other one so again the red one so this red one is the audio from here from this macbook the background music i'm going to put it over here and then the other headphone the other side of this uh, headphone or earphone from this uh, v8 sound card this is where these vocals or the microphone vocals or audio will be coming from now if we are ready to record of course if before you record it's up to you if you want to check first how loud is your uh, like instrument on here so it's up to you you can change that one also later okay so now let's uh, hit record over here and uh, make sure you highlight this one here not this one or else you'll be recording at the end of this uh, background music so again highlight this track because this is the one we will be uh, recording our vocals by the way in this setup the music volume from here you cannot control it from here anymore because the background music is no longer connected to the, to your v8 sound card and also uh, if i'm going to control the volume from here this one doesn't uh, help this one or doesn't make any difference as well because if i'm going to play this one so the volume remains the same even if I lower this one to zero. I can still hear it. So in other words, the volume of your background music in this specific setup is from here. So from the Audacity itself and it is uh, right there. Okay, so if we're going to, uh, if you want it more louder, just move that one over there and move to the other side if you want it lowered. Okay, now if we are ready to record, then let's uh, give it a little uh, sample. Okay, so again, make sure to highlight this one, not the one on top. Okay, so I'm going to hit record now over here. And I'm going to start recording now over here. I cried it's here. You wiped it dry. I was confused. You cleared my mind. I sold my you bought it back for me and held me up and gave me dignity somehow you needed me okay i'm gonna stop the recording now and i'm gonna stop it also over here and uh, okay and now let's uh, try to uh, play the song Okay, so I'm just going to remove this headset on here or headphone connected to this MacBook so you can hear it as well. So the audio will come out from this uh, laptop because the speaker is uh, set to built in uh, speaker. Okay, let's try to play it. Okay, so if you think that your vocals is not loud enough, as you can see, the wave here is, is not as big. So what you do is highlight this one to make it louder. So highlight that one. So this is just a simple edit. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not a pro on editing. I only know uh, basics of this one. So highlight this one and go to effect and amplify. So if you think that is too loud, then maybe move it to maybe up to there or something like that and then hit OK. And now as you can see your wave here is bigger and which means your vocals is louder. So if we try to play it again. Right 
Okay, so this is the good thing of of using two tracks, one for background music and one for for your vocals because you can change or you can edit your vocals uh, without uh, touching the background music. So what I meant is, okay, let me just uh, maximize uh, this one. So if we're going to click this one, so we can, if we mute this one, then we will only be hearing the, the vocals. I cried it's here. You wiped it right. Okay, so uh, something like that. And now if you, you can, and now you can do whatever edits you want, uh, you want uh, from your, from your vocals. So let's say, for example, again, I'm just going to be showing you uh, some, pre some basics uh, of editing using Audacity. So let me just make this one a little bit bigger. So something like that. So what you do first uh, is uh, highlight, uh, highlight a little portion of the blank one over there and then go to effect over here and uh, so go to uh, noise reduction and select get noise profile and then X out or tap over here highlight everything and go back again to effect and go back again to noise reduction so what it is what it does is it removes the unnecessary noise like the breathe so it clean up those unnecessary noise over there and now let's uh, hit OK Okay, there it is. So now it removes those unnecessary uh, like noises on those uh, part. Okay, so if we want, if we're going to listen to it again, so I'm unmute. I'll unmute the background music. Okay, so again, there are lots of options here if you are going to edit your audio or your vocals. So again, if you want to edit your vocals, just highlight this one, go to effects. And uh, so you can add reverb to it, more echo to it if you want. And again, there are lots and lots of settings here that you can do. But again, I'm not yet a pro on it. And that's why what uh, I am doing on my uh, song covers are pretty basic and simple edits only. Okay, so let's say, for example, you're all set, you're all good. This is what you uh, recorded already. So what you do, go to File and go to Export and export this one as MP3. And again, I'm just going to be saving it to the desktop so it's easy to find. And I'm just going to put uh, trial 2. OK, and hit save. And just hit OK from there. And again, if you want to fill out those ones over there, feel free to do that. And I'm going to hit OK now. OK, so I will... Um, OK, I'm going to minimize, or I'm going to make this one smaller now. And I'm going to minimize this one. And it should be on here. Okay, and now if we are going to play this one, so it's going to be over here, the one that says iTunes. Just going to move it a little bit there. Okay, there it is. So now that you have this one, then you can now do whatever you want uh, with your MP3 file on here. So it's either you sync this one to the video you recorded from here to make it as one, and that is now a song uh, cover. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please uh, give it a like. And if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated. For all the upcoming videos, I will be posting Gibbsafe and until next time.